To create your first wallet with Trust Wallet, you have to tap on Create Wallet. Write down your backup phrase or tap Copy and save it to your secure password manager of choice. Tap on Next to continue. Verify your backup phrase by tapping each of the 12 words in their correct order. Well done! You have created your first wallet with Trust Wallet. To add additional wallets, you can tap on Settings, tap on Wallets, tap on the plus sign in the top right corner, which will open the Create or Import Wallet Wizard. Pretty simple. So with Trust Wallet, you can create a crypto wallet in about a minute. You can swap one crypto for another in less than a minute. And you can do so without the wallet secretly collecting your IP addresses, as MetaMask has been doing this whole time according to recent reports. There's no question that because of the easy setup and all the swap features, Trust Wallet really is one of the favorites in the industry, but it also offers more than that. Stick with us in this video. We're gonna walk you through some of those other cool features and give you a very simple step-by-step -step guide on how to maintain full custody of your crypto assets while also getting the most out of your Trust Wallet. Welcome to the channel. My name is Maddie, and this is Altcoin Buzz. As a friendly reminder, best of luck if you choose to invest and you know, be careful out there, which is why we're talking more about wallets these days. But if you choose to invest, just don't take what I am saying to be official financial or investment advice. And as a reminder, don't forget that for a limited time, our Altcoin Buzz access group is free for you to check out. And along with that access, you can get your hands on our weekly updated reports on the state of the crypto and NFT markets. This comes from our outstanding research team. You can try these out for free by clicking the link that's popping up right now on screen or following the link that you can find in the description of this video. Did you know that Binance not only owns, but also created Trust Wallet? A lot of people don't know this in the crypto space. And even those that do, they don't necessarily know that Trust Wallet is not centralized in the same way that Binance is. Binance actually has two great decentralized wallets, one Trust Wallet, but also Binance Chain Wallet. That being said, Trust Wallet is a terrific choice. Personally, I think it's the best non-MetaMask option to use with all kinds of Web3 apps and protocols. We have lots of rabid fans of Trust Wallet here on Altcoin Buzz, and for good reason. And because Trust Wallet works with so many chains, it's also a great option for staking, investing, lending, or really whatever you intend to do with your coins in a DeFi capacity. And after we go through the walkthrough as to how to set up your Trust Wallet, I'm gonna share with you two super simple techniques on how you can stake your BNB. So it is rare to have really a wallet as popular as Trust Wallet also be difficult to set up. Um, and that's kind of logical, right? Because people wouldn't use it if they couldn't set it up easily. Therefore, Trust Wallet is popular, at least in part, because it's easy to set up. And it only really involves a few steps. Like I said, it should probably take about a minute of your time. Here's the process. So number one, you download the Trust Wallet app from the App Store. Then you click Create Wallet. You are then shown and you must guard with your life your 12-word seed phrase. Keep it in a safe place. And if you have a password manager, maybe like LastPass, you can use the copy to paste your seed phrase there. Number four, verify your backup phrase to show yourself and Trust Wallet that you know it. And that's it. You've created your first wallet. Pretty easy. Figuring out where and how to save your seed phrases is really the longest part of this process. That shouldn't take you more than two minutes total. But again, be careful with that. Don't underestimate that step. And then from there, you can create more wallets or import other wallets into Trust Wallet if you have others. And you can then use those wallets on Trust Wallet's friendly interface. Let's talk about seed phrase recovery. So what if you forgot or maybe lost your seed phrase? That's not good. Uh, what do you do next? Well, if you still have your same phone and access to your Trust Wallet, it's actually pretty easy. You can recover your seed phrase by number one, going to settings, wallets, Click on the three dots next to your wallet of choice and then click on show backup phrase. And this time, make sure you have it somewhere safe. Make absolutely sure of that. Sending transactions is also super easy on Trust Wallet. All you do is tap on the asset and tap send. Then of course, add your recipient's address and the amount that you wanna send, confirm that, and then it's on its way. And don't worry if it shows as pending at first because even on very fast chains, Sometimes it does need a few seconds to maybe even a couple of minutes for all of the confirmations to take effect. That's normal, even for super fast chains like this one. 
Importing a wallet is also something you may want to do. It's easy on Trust Wallet. You can import wallets like MetaMask, for example, if you want. And here it's almost exactly the same process as setting up the wallet in the beginning, but with two differences. Number one, you don't click on create a wallet. You click on I have a wallet because in this case you do. The second difference is that you follow the directions here and paste your seed phrase. Click import and this should happen right away. In fact, instantly. And we'll be discussing staking, like I said, in just a moment, but I first want to highlight a couple more features. Let's talk swapping for a moment because one of Trust Wallet's greatest features is all the in-app things you can do uh, when you can do things like swap without leaving your wallet, for example. Everyone loves that kind of convenience. And here's how to do it. Here's how to swap. Number one, click the swap button that's located next to the buy and receive buttons. Number two, you pay is what you are sending and you get is what you are receiving. So pretty straightforward. And then number three, tap swap and then send. It is that easy and you never leave Trust Wallet to do it, which is pretty awesome. Be sure to give us a like if you're a user of Trust Wallet because don't forget if you like what you're seeing, if you find this useful in any way, then let us know by commenting, by liking the video because that way YouTube is gonna help show you more videos like this one. You're gonna use the algorithm to your advantage. And of course, it also helps our channel. And in addition, make sure you are subscribed to Altcoin Buzz if you aren't already. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does tell YouTube, hey, show me more videos like this one if you're finding it useful. Let's get into staking BNB now. And specifically, there are two ways to stake BNB from within your trust wallet. The first is easy direct staking. So this is the first and most direct staking option that we're gonna be talking about. So as you can see here from within the wallet, you can tap the BNB asset on the beacon chain. Then next to send, receive, and swap, you can choose to stake. And when you press the stake button, really all the available validators and interest rates are there for you to pick. And you can see Trust Wallet's own validator, Trust Wallet staking pays 4.09%, while the Legend 2 validator pays 4.91%. These are all direct, all right there, and all super easy. So that's option number one. Option number two is to use one of the many in-wallet apps like Lido, PancakeSwap, or Aave, and you can stake on those apps. With your Wallet Connect feature, you can link up to any of the available apps and you can stake from there. Really, this comes down to a personal preference. If you prefer direct staking within your wallet, then you're gonna to wanna to go with option number one, of course, option A. But if not, of course, you can go with some of those other options. Let us know, guys, if you're staking actively right now. If so, what is your favorite staking coin? Go ahead, let us know, share your thoughts with us in the comments below.